Alright guys, welcome back to Mafia Definitive Edition. We're jumping right into the mission that we left off in the previous episode. And here we are at the warehouse. Is that Polly? Come on, Tom! It's good, Polly, what do you want? Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Say. You know this place? Oh uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Oh. Ah, uh, you see it there later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. Tommy Angelo. Going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. I he was a stone cold killer back in the day. Was he now? I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. Damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. Uh-oh. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. All right, let's do this. Search for clues. Anything in here? Oh, what happened here? Okay. God damn it. Guy we pay to keep this place in check. Don't even put time to farm, bro. Place is derelict. Another magazine. Oh. Guy shoots a dog. Uh oh. Let's head over here. Run, Tommy, run. Where the hell are you hiding? Anybody in this farm? Uh oh, why is there. That's gotta be his. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Jesus. Drop. Your weapon. Oh, you son first. of a bitch. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard son way. Son of a bitch. Okay, then. Oh. Get over here. I got him pinned down. Polly, get over here. I need backup. Who do you think you are? Seriously, who do you think you are? Stay down. 
Anybody else? Give me your goddamn ammo. Alright, let me search. Oh! Wow! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Your cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Border Patrol. Oh shit. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, alright. I'll make Lost Heaven PD look like pussy cats. Alright, what are we looking for? Oh, there's some blood in here. God damn it, Sam, where are you? Oh, he's got to be in here. Sam? Oh, shit. Yeah, stay down. Okay, so he's got to be in here then. Who's that? You prick. Oh. Uh oh, there he is. Oh my god, how long? They got a new guy coming! Come on, you prick. Come on, come on. There we go. Thank Christ. We gotta get to him. Boys, stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us.
Sammy. Oh, Jesus. What have they done to you? I got clear. Grace has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, no I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. Just hang on. I'll go get the truck. Then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey. You're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, hmm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. It'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. You sure? You sure we have? Oh. Uh oh. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Dude, how many are there? Oh my god. I wish I had like some sort of rifle instead. Oh my god, how much fucking reloading? I'm out of fucking bullets, are you kidding me? I'm out of fucking bullets. Give me, give me this fucking rifle, finally, now we're talking. Where are you? You wanna run from me? Stay the fuck down. That's more like it. Grab some fucking ammo. Jesus, this hurts. Give me a second. All right, let's go. Jesus Christ! Where's the goddamn truck? Crap! We got cops. Is there more of them? You're kidding. Where are they? Oh, they're right outside. Come on, prick. Dude, what the fuck, man? Alright. Any more? There we go. Oh, Christ. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. What's he looking at? Somewhere. 
Oh shit, here we go. That thing back there is huge! Where the hell did they find that truck? Good thing I got some infinite fucking ammo. Dude, it's the goddamn lights, man. Truck is all the way from behind. How am I supposed to shoot him? Why is this cop car? There we go. Is this the truck that I'm hitting right now? Or is this a no wait. That's the truck. Is that the truck? You gotta be kidding me, man. Goddamn cop car, man. There we go. There's more. More bad news coming in from the side. Crap. They're getting close. Oh fuck. They're too close. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What? Oh my God! How that even happened? You've got to be shitting me. How the fuck did that even happen? Our friend got company! Right, you gotta keep going, Tommy! You think we're okay now? Do you? Keep it going. How the fuck have they already damaged me that much? Where are they damaging me from? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow. Stop just in time. What now? You gotta be shitting me. Come on, damn it. Uh oh. Oh shit. It's still working. That stupid truck. Oh no, the stupid fucking truck. How are we gonna get rid of him? Oh my god! What do you think I'm doing? What do you think I'm doing? Oh my god! This stupid shit! What the fuck am I supposed to be shooting at? Oh 
the fuck you? I'm reloading, god damn it. Reload for fuck's sakes. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? This damn shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna shoot the top shit. Finally. Now what? Fucking reload, damn it. Molotov. Is this working? There we go. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Shit. Drive to Sarah's apartment. Of course I'm gonna skip the drive. Especially when he's by himself. Alright, where is she? Oh, damn. You're late. Dinner's cold. Ooh. She mad. Work. She understands, though.
Damn. Okay. Damn. If only it was that easy in real life as well. Chapter completed. What's going on here? Don Salieri. Nice. It came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out started thinking maybe it's one of our guys we aren't paying his fair share someone with a light wallet maybe looking to Morello for a new suit Frank wasn't around so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned what do you know the books are gone Tom Frank oh he's a traitor more than 50 years I've known him. No way, it's Frank. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Damn. Frank, after 50, did he say 50 years? For how, however long. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. He's gotta have his reasons, right? Talk to Vincenzo. Tommy. Right, I'm dude. Tough day today, Tom. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's right here. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. Is that so? Special here, if you want it. Oh. Look at that, a shotgun. Season Lapara, you'll know. We always work. All right, let's move. Okay, so we're back at Biff's. Come on, come on, come on. Tommy, what's the rumpus? What do you got for me? I'm here, hello. Who 
heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, Spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. All right, let's go. Find little Tony. Gotta skip the drive. It's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Let's get out of here. Drive to the safe house. Skipping the drive. Looks like the place. Oh. You know, this house looks very familiar. Wait a minute. Why is he parking like that? Why is he parking like that? Oh, Frank. There he is. What are you doing, Frank? You really betraying the dawn like that. And of course we gotta tail him. Uh, oh, that's him right there. Come on, he could have easily seen us just now. Take me to those account books, Frank. Damn it, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Don't get too close. and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Stay Lost Stay right here. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the Where core with promising youngsters to? set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion. And you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers Damn it, Frank, where are you going? The gold series, which at one stage it appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then, standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series. Nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having God damn it, that stupid truck. What a strap what is he doing? Six, two, pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And oh no, that stupid fucking that truck. The people of Lost Heaven after such a Just go around. Oh my god, I think it's a glitch. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but 
Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannon go the fuck happen. around. You know what? Here we go. Doherty's I have no down. choice. I have no choice. Still not moving. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's true. What the there fuck is wrong? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to like redo this. Probably. Because a stupid truck just doesn't want to go away. Just let me skip this, this stupid drive, man. Okay, I have no choice but to do this. Come on, Frank's driver, drive the fuck away. Oh my god, I hate this. I legit when I legit hate when stupid shit like this happens. You gotta be kidding me. Blue Heron operates four flights each day, flying out of Lost Heaven International. Contact your travel agent for scheduling. Yeah, I have no fucking choice but to do that. Now I'm gonna have to wait. Go all the way back. This stupid fucking shit. If that happens again, I'm gonna bitch slap this shit. Take me to those account books, Frank. Let's try this stupid shit again. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters really set around. You I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion. And you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers this are now damn shit. snatching the gold series, which... Well, don't tell me this was the truck. Do, but they equally teeter on the edge of the beat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody was this the truck that was blocking? Bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Money Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion. Yep, doesn't I think that was a stupid truck. After his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. Got to be He's some kind of meat about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of oh God. Lost Heaven oh God. after God. such Calm a long down. time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his ah, face. Shit. He winds up. They taking you to the airport, and Frank. There was zip on that one. Good lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. God damn it, Frank. How far is this Seidel shit? More irate. This is it, folks. Another strike in the Lost last Haven. If Doherty can get behind it, surely Hope to see you soon. You are leaving victory. the city of the Lost Haven. That cop? That was a cop. Depends on tools and 
materials that aren't going to let you down. At Edmunds, all items are guaranteed to be of the highest quality and best price locally. For fixtures, paints, lumber, and more, visit Edmunds Tools, home of the Edmunds Price Guarantee. This Where is this prick going, damn it? Radio. Thank you for listening. Oh shit, oh shit. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. The airport. Oh my god. Jeez, look at all those cops. Is he, is he really gonna rat Don Salieri out? How the hell are we gonna get in? There's a restricted area. They're not gonna shoot me. They're definitely gonna we shoot me. They're definitely gonna shoot me. I'm gonna have to find a way to get in there. But how? How am I going to get in there? What? Oh shit, there's a door right here. Anyone know what's going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane looked like gangsters. How long did it done? Right, I'm due to fly. Care. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. I don't know. A lot of these men don't look like cops. Why well, can I go? Got him! There! Get him! I fucked up, didn't I? Probably gonna have to go all the way around. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. They definitely saw me. Alright, here goes nothing. You guys want war? I'll give you war. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh 
I need first aid, that's what I need. There's one more person here. Please explode. Okay, how did that not get him? Now. Oh my god, that was a close one. Fucking close one. There we go. What are you doing, Frank? Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Who's that? Your wife and daughter? Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Oh shit. Damn you, Frank. Oh, he's gonna let him go. That's gonna come bite him back in the ass. Let's just hope the Dawn does not find out about this. Count books. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Guess I gotta go downstairs. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Keep 
Been out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. How'd you Coletti know? He said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Mr. Angelo? Follow the, bl the bank clerk. the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Oh. Just as long as you. Wait. He's a good man. Smart. So Loyal. Frank got killed anyways? Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. I thought Tommy Maybe. let him go. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. What? His daughter? It's a hell of a thing. Wait, I'm confused. Did so? What happened to Frank? I thought he. I thought Tommy let him go. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll tell us later on. Visiting rich people. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Is that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. See, si. who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, regards. Tommy, Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pifauri. Hmm. 
Where are we going now? The prosecutor's mansion. There we are. Oh shit, he was in the car? I didn't even realize he was in the car. We probably skipped some dialogue. But whatever. What? Oh shit. take out the guards. Come on, prick. What do you think you're doing? Give me the shotgun. Come on, man. Wait, do I have to take out all the guards? God damn it. I didn't think I had to take out every single one. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't think he would hop over the goddamn fence. Oh my god. Do I really have to take out every single fucking guard? Okay, where else are they? Oh, there's one right there. That's all of them? Where the fuck is he? You gotta be kidding me. Where is he? There he is. Same tipo tosto, eh? What? Saying it's behind the painting. See, see. Okay, I understand. Now so it's behind a painting. Yes, we got another room to check. If I remember correctly, it was upstairs. But oh, hold on. Is it this one? Nope. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ, how many punches can she take?
How many rooms are here? There's one. I I don't think it's this one, but let's just try it. Yep. It's the master bedroom, but which one's the mat? Oh, this one looks important. Why is there a... Oh. Alright, it's definitely this one. Yep. There we go. Scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Oh Shit. no. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Nice work, excuse me. Oh. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Son of a bitch. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be up. Safe's in his study. Hey! Choke his ass out. What can I grab? Oh, that's a shotgun. Nobody here. Oh, they're waiting for me outside. Okay. Come on, prick. And I'm out of ammo. Jesus. Oh God. Come on, you prick. Finally, I get your first time. Run, bitch, run. Escape the mansion. There's a car. Get the fuck in, get the fuck in, come on. Presto! Semina gli sfieri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? He's gone. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie a Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six and uh, Maple. Okay, let's go. I don't know if there's any dialogue or not, but let's just, let's just skip the drive. Salvatore home. Good night. Uh. Night. Wow. Chapter completed. Visiting rich people.
great deal. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your drivers safe, boss. Bona fortuna, boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. All right, let's get into the car. Oops. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen. I spend more time with a Don than all of you put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the roof. Move, ah, prick. Ah, we're driving here. Oh, we fuck sakes. Officers have seen him. Now in pursuit. Pursue and arrest. Bring him in. Let's go between a street car. Come on. Shit, there's a cop right there. If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Officer, there we go, we lost him. Now nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just get a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. 
Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till so then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. All right, finally, here we are. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Drive to the top floor. Oh shit, I remember this mission. Come on, let's go! I remember this mission. There's gonna be a whole shootout going on. A whole this ass shootout was about to go down. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no! It's okay. Oh. Why you do that? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Oh. That thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> oh shit! What the? Oh! They just killed him. Even after we punched his nose. So we just did that for nothing. Oh shit, here we go. Fuck you! Fuck you! Got all of them? What now? Check on Gates. Oh, he's dead. Right? No, he's still alive? This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go! So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll more of them. Escort the truck, alright. Come on, you pricks. Are you down here? I know you're down here. Oh god. God damn reloading. Come on, you prick. Show yourself. I know he's under that table. There we go. If only I had a grenade right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
Jesus. How are they gonna come through now? We gotta put it out! Look for extinguishers or something! I see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling! <coughs> oh god, oh god, oh god! Why did I just do that? They better have first aid in there. Why do I feel like they're down here as well? Yep. I really need that first aid, like right fucking now. Let me grab that first aid. All right, now let's do it. That was intense. Still feel flames in my face. Christ. Stay close and keep moving, fellas. Keep the boots safe. Save him. Get out of there, Tom. Just say, get out of there. Why are you tell me get out of there? Oh god. That's more like it. I need some fucking ammo, that's what I need. Alright, come on. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Oh, shit. hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Over here. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! Oh my fucking... Can this car go any faster? This slow ass car. It's way too ahead. We need we need to get closer. There we go. Oh god, oh god, move, fucker! Whoa, whoa, how the fuck? Oh my god, the truck! It's because of those stupid fucking cops! Oh no, I swear, if the truck gets destroyed... If the truck gets destroyed, I'm gonna be pissed. How the fuck did the truck get take that much damage already? They don't stop coming, do they? If the truck gets destroyed, I'm gonna bitch slap him. Here you go. All right. Come on, you this slow ass fucking car. The slow fucking car. Move you prick. I think we lost them all. Are you f Please tell me that saved right there. Please tell me that saved right there. 
Oh my god. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try this not some to bullshit. die. This is some straight up bullshit, man. Oh I my god, it. I can't believe that just fucking happened. Okay. This piece of donkey down, so. shit. Piece of shit, man. Piece of fucking shit. The same fucking thing happened. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of my way. Straight up donkey shit. Straight up fucking dog shit, man. How the fuck? This is where the problem was before. Sam, going through the Hooverville. So I guess we are too. This fucking car. Should be good now. Let's hope there isn't any other stupid fucking cars. Are we good? I think we lost them all. We better have. Price for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. Though so tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. About fucking time. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Oh, shit. Great deal completed. Intermezzo. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. I wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. 
and Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Bon appetit. So that oh, chapter we just did was just a cutscene. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Oh, shit. Ooh. I'm gonna be driving this? This looks like that race car that we were driving, except green and fits so two people. Business, hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. Damn, this guy's pretty fast. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up. <clears throat> Let's get there without broken necks, Tom. My fault. Sorry. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Alright. Oh, let's skip the drive. He's done with the dialogue. here please quickly <laughs> you're going to love this wine it's a Don Sogieri welcome my friend welcome <laughs> good to see you Pepe yes. hey come our guest has arrived eh? what's on the menu today my mother she would be so honored if you tried her caponada excellent bravo bravo oh, Danny oh, I'll, let me get you a chair for you huh? <laughs> see please And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Oh. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Beppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> 
Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get down! Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Got to be my arrow. What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. This prick. Oh, we gotta stop them now. Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. You guys fucked up now. Shit, watch out! You guys literally fucked up now. Fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that wasn't even my target. This is really the only... What the hell are you still doing back here? You prick. Boss, I got this. Try to keep your head down. Give me the Tommy gun. At least give me some goddamn ammo. Okay, there we go. Oh, is there people back? People back here as well. Okay, how am I supposed to get to the front? Oh, I guess that's how. Oh god. Any more of you pricks? Tommy Angelo with a Tommy gun. Perfect. I think that's all of them. Boss! It's clear! Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Better give me a promotion after that. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today. Oh. He, sick. he set you up. <laughs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlos shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Fucking Carlo. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlos still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. Son of a bitch, you Carlo. A you give him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage. Any of them could have been him. Come on, Tom, we don't have time for this. 
All right, here we are. Come on, Sally Ari. Sure. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking guy. Goddamn dirty grifter. Oh. It's going to be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Uh, Jesus. Where are you going? Don't let him get away! Are you shitting me? Uh, uh, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Oh, come on, Tommy. You could have just killed him right there. Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Come on, Tommy. You can run faster, faster than that. Hey, will you finish with you? Please. I can explain. Just grab your gun out and shoot him. Think about this now. Please. He's lucky I can't grab out my gun and just shoot him right now. Come on, Tommy. You can, you can just catch him right here. Oh, my God. Tommy, what are you doing? I have to do it. I have to. They made me do it, Oh. There we go. Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Oh. this wait a minute is that gordy it is hey gordy how you doing buddy hotly recognized you what'd he do you said you were having some trouble down at the docks right yeah it's nothing i can't handle yeah well he did some asking around this asshole was planning a strike strikes are no good for business Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. That all right with you? Of course. Yep. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. Oh. I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cry. Trying to have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the Ari must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. <laughs> Even here myself, thing. It's gonna be a war. I told you to <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since you killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Hmm. We're at the start of something. Something big. 
You think? Morello tried to kill him. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war time. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Hold up, upstairs. Uh, wait, how do I go upstairs? It's not that room. True, the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you. Yeah, wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. All those people under our protection. Oh shit! Our guys in place. Good. We're finally going after her. Soon. But first we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, boobs, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Get to the docks. What the hell's in this room? The oh, fuck is in here? I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Get to the docks. Alright. Let's go. This is a new car? Looks like the same one except red. Now, an exit. Alright, we're gonna skip the drive, of course. Find the Sam. Sam, where are you? Attention, folks. Attention. Oh, this is this mission. Oh shit, the, the ship mission. 
Oh crap, am, am I not allowed to cross? The finest family in the city. No doubt my mind. Who's done more? Okay, so I can't cross, so how the hell am I gonna He's gonna clear up that city fight too? Let me talk to this person over here. Hey you. you don't look oh like is that oh that's Sam. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Is that Sam? Yeah, that is. Sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Uh where is he? The fuck is he? The oh. <laughs> well, shit. you'd get a real job someday so remember play it cool man that looks really good look at that oh complete the goddamn way which way are we going play it cool when you've gone some ways over the water find the gun the janitors so remember play it cool when you've gone some ways over the water find the gun the janitor stashed it in the bathroom sure then get up on the roof Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come as soon as we've seen him. All right. Be on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. Excuse me. Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Okay, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but the game just crashed. For the first time in this game. I don't know what the fuck happened. But we're back. Almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean the toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Find the gun. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. Yeah, I piss off. You. Were you with the union, maybe? Nah, piss Sorry, off. Buddy, I'm from out of town. Shit, mate, go someplace else. Hmm. Where the fuck could it be? Back here? It's probably not even upstairs. Know where I can find the janitor? Back in a boat. Drunk as a skunk in the engine. Same as always. Back of the boat. Mm. Thanks. So it's downstairs. All right. We're gonna grab the gun, kill the bitch. You took your time, Tommy. Right? I hid the gun in the jam in the stern, mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. All right. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Oh, what? 
Let's head back upstairs. I'll vote for him. And I do more than vote for the dames he invites to his parties. I do know you. Yo with Sally Oh no. What are you gonna do about it? Well I'm gonna oh, get no. beaten for starters. Yeah? Wait, you out. <laughs> you prick? How's that? How's that? Throw him off. Can I throw him off? Come on. I wish this was like Hitman. You can pick him up and throw him off. But this mission kind of reminds me of Hitman. Got the gun. The vantage point. Find a vantage point. Is this it? Excuse me, man. Oh, shit. Here we are. John, hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, hey, hey. thank you, everyone. <laughs> All right, wait for the fireworks, the and then we can kill them. <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. Come on, you prick. That is Launch the fireworks already. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Yeah, show the fireworks. Where's the fireworks? Oh, there they go. Come on, where's the fireworks? There they are. Beautiful. Beautiful fireworks. Look at those fireworks, man. Jeez. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, shit. They up here? Oh, crap. I didn't know they were up here. Fucking aim assist. It's kind of bad. Somebody behind me? No, he's on the... He's downstairs. Need this first aid. Have a Tommy gun or something? Tommy gun. That's more like it. I don't know if you're... Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, oh god! Let me first aid like right fucking now. Take 
<gasps> oh my god! I hate when that fucking happens. Son of a fucking bitch, man. Come on, load me in already. Jesus Christ. Come on, damn it. What the hell is taking so long? Finally. Where's the Tommy gun? Where the fuck's the Oh my god, they didn't They didn't even drop me a fucking Tommy gun. That's some straight up bull. Get cover! We're gonna throw some land! Oh my fucking There's a Tommy gun right there. Better shot my ass. Come on. Get the fuck out of my way. Careful now. Here we go. That's more like it. Look at the fireworks. All right, finally. You lucky bastard. What's this mission about? Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. Well, get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, don't drop it. 
Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Yeah, Alright, where are we going? Sergio's house. Come on, come on, come on. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. Let's get out of here, man. At the end of Prohibition, here we are. cut off the mob's air supply. But do you... Oh my god, I remember this. Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? Obviously, I'm gonna sneak in. Somehow. How am I going to rid of that prick? Unless I can sneak up on him. Alright. Get down. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe you drop the kid off at your pop's place. The kid? They got a kid? Yeah, I'm still here. Wait, whose kid are, is he talking oh, about? Christ. Hey, oh, stop! no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. We got the wrong person. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Sarah. Is that him? Why don't I just put a bullet right now? What are, you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Okay. Let's get out of here. Georgie's Diner. Georgie's Diner. Oh shit. You okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message oh, wow. from Mr. Salieri. This prick. No! Kill these clowns! We gotta chase him. First we take you Oh my god! Get me out of here! 
We're gonna have to chase him, aren't we? We're gonna have to chase him. What the hell? Back to the car. We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed. Oh wow, he's on the goddamn bike. All right, let's drive this. Keep up with Sergio. Can I shoot him? Oh my goodness! Well, calm the fuck down, this damn bike. Whoa! Gotta catch up to his ass. His bike is not exactly smooth to control. And I can't shoot him for some reason. Can this man stop making turns? Whose car is that? That's Polly and Sam, right? Yes, it is. Shoot them, damn it. Oh, come the fuck on. Come on, I'm literally right behind him. I can't shoot him. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I legit don't know what the fuck they want me to do right now. Oh my god! Oh my god. That was insane. Okay, is he stopping yet? He just... That one's ran through these bitches. What are they doing? They're protesting. Where this stupid man going, god damn it. Stop your goddamn car. Go into this warehouse. Oh, maybe not. Where are you idiots going? All right, this is it. Lost Haven Harbor. Oh. What are you idiots doing? Kill that motherfucker! Here we go again. How many fucking shots that guy take? What? This is the only fucking gun I have? Come on, you guys have ammo, right? Okay, it looks like that's a first aid. What do you mean? Oh, I'm full health? But now what? Uh. Is that a shotgun?
We got one fucking bullet. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm screwed. Literally, I'm screwed. This is the only fucking gun I have. I gotta run back for first aid. There we go. This fucking shit. I gotta get closer. Just wasted some fucking bullets. Finally, ammo. I think that's all of them for now. Hey, hey. You prick. That the same gun? More ammo, good. And some Molotov. Keep it going. Come on, you stupid prick. Oh my god, that was a close one. God. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me, man. Oh fuck, another sniper? Where? How the fuck you get up there? I 
Okay, got him. Oh my god, I need a first aid. What do I pay you for? Are you serious? That's not all of them. Are there more? Oh shit. Oh my god. Please tell me the first aid is in here. Nope, it's outside. Dude, how's that guy still alive? Oh my god, how's this? There we go. Okay, there's a oh my god, what the fuck? I didn't even see this guy. Oh shit. I did not even see him. Right, you prick. Where's this guy? All right, come on. Do anything? Oh my god. the fuck am I out of pistol ammo already? What do you want? Money? I can get you money. You kill me, my brother will destroy you. I got something perfect for you, bitch. How's that? The f I just burned him alive. He's how the fuck man? Oh shit. You're screwed, man. Wow. <laughs> what did I 
I tell you? No one can touch me. You ain't that lucky, bastard. Wait. No! <laughs> wow. After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's got to be seen. Finally, word came through that he was going to break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with saps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. Get in the car. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep We're finally head. gonna kill Morello. Get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. Are we really about we to kill him right now? Morello dies tonight. I guess we are. Tonight. Sure. Good luck, guys. You guys coming? Come on. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. Any more dialogue? I'm gonna give it like five more seconds. Boy's doing all right. Oh, there yeah. we go. Just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You think that white suit would make him an easier target? in your old job okay it's right there I see him let him have it oh shit here we go you know we're coming You fucking pray.
Take him out if you can. But Morello's the prize tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You're still an ice cold wheel man, aren't ya? If we lose him, we'll go to ground for months. More, maybe. Don't let him give us a slip. He could be headed anywhere. If we don't catch him and plug him, he might even move out of state for a while. We need to whack him tonight. Taking this city over. You gotta be kidding me, man. Fucking! If I lose him right fucking now. He's trying to shake us off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. Move, Earl's bitches. Got himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. This goddamn prick, man. Is he going? Where is he going? He can't be skipping town with us going bumper to bumper with him. Well, wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? You gotta be shitting me. There'll be more guys waiting. Good! We need to clean house! He's gotta die! This guy's gotta die! Okay. But let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. Here we go. He's got muscle waiting. I see him. Oh, shit! God damn it! Everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, just a bit of glass in my hair. <laughs> Not that a cheap comb can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on. All right. Don't let Morello escape. Why am I using? Give me my Tommy gun.
fucking guy needs to stop moving everywhere. Oh god. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Go up around them. Here. Right. Oh, my God. Is that all of them? Is there another bitch around here? Why is there like a mini red dot here? Hey, you can patch yourself up over there. Don't rest oh, good. Let's move, let's move. been an insane fucking mission. Anybody else? Grab some ammo. Alright, let's go. Uh oh. Are we about to fly a plane? No way, Roy. Into that car! Come up front. Get the best shot out of all of us. Get the fuck in, get the fuck in. Is everybody in? Let's go. Drive, damn it! Come oh, the slow ass car. This slow ass car. We don't have the speed. Am I gonna have to do this or is it just a cutscene? Fucking reload, damn it. This isn't gonna work. It has to work. He's in a fucking plane. Care to let me shoot? He's not out of here yet. The fucking reloading, man. Okay, now the other. There we go. Oh, I'm taking the wheel. Why? Because I'm the guy that drives. And now we got a plane to catch. Oh my god. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in all guns blazing and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. You're trying to take it. Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside this city. Hell yeah, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. <laughs> wow. You drive like this in your old job. This fucking piece of shit. Anyway, wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Please, 
probably losing. Collision in Chinatown. Officers required. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. We're gonna go through Chinatown. But we don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cop. What was no one's saying? gonna survive that. Oh, yeah. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't wow. have love. Every cop in the city like is gonna be your old job. We don't Time have remaining. Love. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Oh my god, how far is this? See you on the other side, Marku. Jesus Christ, what a fucking mission that was. Let's continue. Hell of a mission. Intermezzo. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. The family, man. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created to up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? 
Might have friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good it was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me? Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam can point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Election campaign, 1938. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. Starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend, and I know you're loyal to him, and I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. All right. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, <laughs> fuck. He'll never look our way. 
He's a good boy. These bitches. All right, let's go talk to Vincenzo real quick. Let's see what the hell he wants. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Well, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history. Oh, that there's that prison mission. Who live there now? Oh, it's my so God. So I remember yourself. this mission. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside. I mean, if I grab some ammo. Top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here for this part of Mafia Definitive Edition. Now, now, the next episode might possibly be the ending of this game. I know I just started this game today. Part I recorded part one and part two today, and we're almost at the end now. It's not too long of a game, but I'm really enjoying it so far. The next one will be the prison mission. I'm pretty sure there's also a bank mission, and then, of course, the ending probably so yeah i'm gonna end it right here drop a like comment and subscribe thanks for watching it's been your mate dogs out day and i'll catch you in the next one